Failures are a part of life, but it's better they leave you embarrassed than completely broke. Not even some millionaires can afford to make bank-breaking mistakes like these. No trailer? No problem. Bonus points for installing some aerodynamic speed ports in the bottom of your boat. Regardless of what that priceless 17th century clock says, we can all agree it's time he pays for the damages. I've heard of making pirates walk the plank, but expensive motorbikes? That's new. At least the Titanic actually made it to the ocean before going down. Bugs hitting the windscreen is a regular thing. But drones? You either have the money to buy the car or the talent to drive it. Never both. I guess money doesn't get you intelligence. Luckily, my clumsiness hasn't resulted in me punching a hole in a $1.5 million painting. It's gonna take a few piggy banks worth of savings to cover that cost. A few moments later. Uh, we f***ed up. Bubble baths are cool and all, but when someone accidentally sets off a fire suppression system over millions worth of equipment, they certainly lose their calming effect. This is definitely not what the driver meant when he suggested carpooling. When the cost of repairs is more expensive than your whole car times a hundred. Did he confuse it with a ramp or something? Yes, they lost the race, but they did manage to defy the laws of physics. There must be some trophy for that. Sometimes it's just better to call a professional. You'll have to do it one way or another, whether it's to cut the tree down or to fix the house. Well, I don't think I got that, but that was not good at all. When you find out the hard way that supercars don't convert into submarines on flooded roads. The delivery driver, when he sees my Amazon package, has frail items inside. Gas prices are way too high right now to be cleaning your windshields with gas. Of course, these girls didn't know that. You want to them? I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather not. Ooh. This right here is every car guy's nightmare. I think the commentator does a pretty good job at putting it into words. Millions and millions of dollars of damage here. Everyone makes mistakes when they have a bit too much to drink. But usually those mistakes aren't as pricey as this. And just when you think it ends, he comes back around for round two. Installing LED panels is usually a job left to the pros. I guess some rookie just wanted to get on the big screen. This is an accurate representation of me trying not to let my problems escalate and failing big time. Here's how to help someone who has a fear of flying. Show them how useless planes are when they aren't airborne. Does the five second rule still apply when you drop a thousand dollar steak on the floor? <laughs> Ground beef, anyone? Despite what the slogan says, I think that driver will be regretting he didn't fasten those crates in properly. That's just irony on a whole other level. Tanks can drive through some of the toughest conditions possible, but when you put an idiot in the driver's seat, even just moving up a ramp becomes a challenge. Little did he know, Lightning McQueen was riding in the back. There's no holding back that car. Oh. My God. When you're paid $12 an hour to dig a hole and you hit a sewage pipe, well, your day just turns to poop, literally. All right, we got a show here. We got a Ford. Oh, shit. We got Oh, shit. Okay. 
These kids were all about the stunt life until one rider got a little too close to an expensive car. It shouldn't be too hard to catch up with them, though. Parking can be tricky, but I think you'll have an even tougher time explaining what happened to his neighbor. There's no better sight than watching FedEx destroy your expensive monitor in the rain. Push after push after push. He got a good deal on this apartment. Only issue was that the Sahara Desert was on the second floor. Back to the drawing board, guys. Turns out it takes more than just super glue and cello tape to keep a house standing. With power like that, he should be heading to the real battlefield. His monitor has no chance countering that strike. If only the rack had succeeded in its attempt to smash the camera and get rid of the evidence of this fail. He spent all his money on that $200,000 Lambo and couldn't afford common sense. I guess you can't have it all in life. Next time, maybe don't attach your flat screen to the wall with sticky tape. I get it. Once you start something, you want to see it through. But when that something is cement, it's just not worth it, man. Okay, we get it. The steady cam is really cool. Was going no hands really necessary, though? Caught on camera got a little too real when this 18K lens caught a rogue baseball. Does he get a bill for that? This DJ's a master at pumping up the bass the loudest. Unfortunately for him, though, the beat dropped literally. If I was the groundskeeper, I'd just call in sick after seeing that on the news. When you get Jordan Belfort from Wolf of Wall Street on Wish.com, FYI, that's a $2,000 bottle right there. If you ever feel like life just isn't for you, remember that someone managed to let a bunch of cars burn in the middle of the ocean. And sometimes it's better just to park your crazy expensive cars yourself, rather than for valet to do it for you, or at least try. What are you doing, bro? Welcome to Greg's Green Grocer, where our prices are so low, they'll bring the house down. This military rocket really went off with a bang. I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Clearly our cyclist is making the start of a basketball court in the cement. This driver took driving till the wheels come off a little too literally. He'll get points for determination, but I think he failed this test. I don't know about you, but me personally, I wouldn't have a road running through a golf course. You just hit the Looks cool. Check. Nice colors. Check. Does it explode? Hmm, check. Clearly some people get these jaws just by winging it. You know what this rescue boat needs right now? A rescue boat and a new engine. His faith was really tested here, and I imagine his bank balance was two when it came to fixing that ceiling. This is probably why they don't pay someone minimum wage to deliver a Ferrari. The lorry driver knew the ramp didn't look safe, so he stopped him just in time. 
They say you can sniff out jealousy, but in this case, you can see it all over that brand new Lamborghini. Remember folks, always check your blind spot when reversing. Babe, wake up, it's raining iPhones. Hopefully that didn't land on someone's head. I'm sure he could have found a much less expensive way of trimming his hedges. This, this, this is not okay. This needs to stop. Now. When your bus finally arrives, but you've already ordered a taxi. I swear they do it on purpose. Moral of the story, less worky work, more feedy cat. Chances are, the people in the $4 million car can afford to replace a new phone. This is the perfect excuse for when she wanted to be wined and dined, but you showed up with a six pack of beer instead. I guess there's plenty more fish in the sea, but in the meantime, that slide needs fixing. How many firemen does it take to use a light pole to lift a car? All right, let's see it, get out. No, Natalie, get the f out. No. Let's see. Oh my God! Natalie! Natalie, you did this! Natalie! You did what? Are you kidding me? No. Paying for safe transport only to then do this is like cleaning your car before bringing it to the scrapyard. This is a pro and con of driving a car like that. You turn everyone's head when you drive by, but then they all see when you screw up. Starbucks loves getting their branding out there, whether it's coffee, foam art, reusable cups, or the sign falling onto people's cars. Let's just hope this guy doesn't take up a career in air traffic control. What do you ask for reinforcements but end up cemented into the highway? Not exactly what they had in mind. For some people, your first and last day on the job happens within the same 24 hours. Let's see if he can somehow reverse himself out of a thousand dollars in damages after this. Things that look very expensive often break expensively too. When you've finished creating your Lego masterpiece and your sibling comes in and destroys it, Google Maps said there would be some stoppages, but I'm sure it'll clear up soon. If I die in a volcano eruption, I want it to be erupting grape juice like this. Did you know that VR headsets can now simulate real physical feeling too? All you gotta do is stand right behind the TV during the fight scenes. Be nice, dudes. You know those days when you're just casually driving along, you nosedive into another car and end up stuck there? Yeah, me either. <laughs>